I think it's the weather, really, to be honest with you. Are you feeling tired? If so, you're not alone. How many hours sleep would you say you get at night? Like five or six, or maybe about that, I think. That's not very much sleep. No, 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 it's not. Turns out fatigue, a lack of sleep, and low energy are pretty common in the UK as well. A new study is out, and it involved 2,000 Brits, with many saying they hit the wall in the early afternoon. They say the seasonal depression, you know, makes you tired. You're feeling that a bit? I think so. The survey also found many end up missing time at work due to extreme fatigue, and three out of ten say they have canceled a date or social event because they were just too bagged. On Fridays especially, it's like right after work, we're like, we're not going out tonight. It's just like so much easier to just sit back and then think like, oh yeah, Saturday's a better day because we're not going to get as tired. That's good coffee. The study also found that many Brits resort to a caffeine beverage or a sugary snack to wake themselves up. But there are healthier options for us if we're looking for that much needed energy boost. A little bit of caffeine is totally fine if you need a boost. However, if you're expecting that sugar is going to keep you energized, it's actually going to crash you in probably about an hour. Instead, go for something that is lower carbohydrate that will keep your blood sugars balanced, like a nice green smoothie or a handful of almonds uh, or something else that's protein rich. I usually get some um, some uh, smoothie, uh, something like yeah, something to um, something healthy to to eat or drink. Yeah, that that helps. All right, I think it's time to sign off, but I just need to do one more thing. Is that okay, Jimmy? Okay, good. Whew. That feels better. In Vancouver, Greg Harper, City News. Coming up in one minute on City News.